Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Today I'm going to be showing you what I did around my garden tub area slash shower area. So I'm going to take you with me. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. So first I'm going to put this three tiered silver tray. I used to have this in the kitchen, but to save some space over here, I decided to use it here in the bathroom to hold all my bath bombs, my sponges, soap, washcloths. Um, I just thought it was a great way to store these things and just to use that vertical space. And I did get this tray from I did get this tray from Ross a while ago, and I think it was maybe $14.99 or $15.99, something like that. So I'm going to show you what I have on here. First thing is I got this from Marshalls. It's a room spray, and this smells really good. It's rose water, so if you like the smell of roses. It's perfect and I took this bowl that I've had for a while just took it out of my china cabinet and I thought that was a good way to store my uh, sponges so I have those on there and I also put a candle on there because uh, I could definitely use that whenever I want to or I could just leave it up here for decor purposes now I'm gonna go in with my two marble and silver candle holders that I got from Ross a while ago. It's probably been like at least a couple of months since I've had these. So I have two different sizes and then I have these candles here. I got these candles from, I believe I also got those candles from Ross too. And they smell really good as well. So I'm looking forward to burning those. So that's all I'm going to put up there because I don't want it to get too cluttered. Now I'm going to go down to the tub area. And I'm gonna put this little white tray here that came from Home Goods, and I did a DIY. These are just actual wine stoppers at the top here, and these bottles are actually just liquor bottles um, that I got from a friend of mine. And the the decals on the front, I got those from Hobby Lobby, and I just hot glued those on. And I have two different types of bubble baths in those bottles, so I thought that was a pretty way to store those. So on the tub itself, I'm going to be placing these large orchids and they are in a gold vase. I love to mix metals because it just makes things look a little bit more interesting. Um, these large orchids, I got those from Burlington Co. Factory and I've had those probably for a couple of months. I got those for, for um, I think they were like either $12.99 or $14.99. I used to have those on the dining room table so I thought this was perfect here because I have something else on the table now so I'm gonna put that on either side of the mirror and I love 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 the way that looks because it kind of fills the space on either side of the mirror and this mirror this mosaic mirror I got this from Ross a few years ago and it's similar to something that Pier 1 sells that is like three times the price of this and um, I've, I've seen this in Ross recently. So if you're interested in something like this, they still do sell it. Just have to try to catch when, whenever they have it. But the camera's not picking it up, but this piece is so beautiful. It reflects light. I mean, it just opens up the room. I love it. So I'm just going to put a few towels here. Um, the towel on the top I got from Home Goods, and I'm just going to put a piece of soap on top of it. Um, now I I love to take baths. I know a lot of people are getting away from taking baths, but it's just something great that I love to do for myself. Now I'm going to show you what I did with the curtains. What I did was I took these two tassels that I got from Ross. It, the pair was $5.99. And I did get that recently, so I know they still have those. And I'm just going to tie them around the curtain. And then the rope that's attached to the tassel, I'm just going to tuck it into the fabric in the back so that it looks neat. And this can be placed midway up the curtain, or it can be placed really, really high on the curtain. I've seen people do that, and it looks nice. But my personal preference is to have it kind of midway of the curtain. And I love the way this looks. And if I want to, I can remove the tassels and just have the, you know, the panels there. Now I did hem these. These are 96 inches, but as you can see, I have really tall ceilings. Um, 
and I did get these curtains from Burlington and they were $11 a pair and another way that I have um, displayed the curtain is just to put one tassel and pull both of the panels together and a lot of times I do this when I'm actually taking a bath so that um, no water splashes on the panels so I do like the way this looks as well but my favorite is just to have those two panels separate So here is the finished look for this side of the bathroom. Um, I'm also going to be doing my guest bathroom. So those videos are going to be coming up soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.